Hi, in this video I'll show you how to rank items within a group. We have a simple table here. This is a table of movies by genre. We have the movie name, and maybe this volume is just the quantity that, that got sold on CDs or DVDs for a particular location. And what we want to do is we want to have them ranked. So you can see all the action movies. There's four rows of action movies, and these are the movie names, and these are the volumes from descending greatest to least, and we want to rank them. But we also want to rank them within each of the genres. So we have one, two, three, four here for action, and adventure's got two, one, two, those are the top two, and we see comedy here. There's a bunch of comedy movies, and it goes from one to over 19. So how do we do something with this type of list? We can do it in Power Query, and it's actually not too bad to do. What we need to do first is turn this into a table, control T, turns it into a table and we're going to bring it into Power Query under data get and transform data since it's a table already get from table or range it's going to pull it into the Power Query editor let's make it a little bit smaller here first we need to sort I'm going to sort by genre sort ascending and then based on that do the volume for that and this will be descending so I've got my ascending and this descending from greatest to least. So this is the beginnings of what I need to do. Now I have to group. So I'm going to group by the genre. Select that, right click, and so group by, or there's a group by function up here. Since I right click, I'll just select group by here with the menu, the short menu. I'll just leave the column name by the, that default name there. I don't need it anyways later on. I just have to select all rows here, click OK and it's got my grouping here. We have action adventure, right? If I click on the count column here in the blank space, not the table name, you can see I have got all my movies there. What I want to do here is add an extra function here to kind of look in here and start to rank them. And that is with the add column function. So it's going to be a create a custom column function. I don't need to change the name here because I'm not going to need that name here. Now the function I'm going to put in here is called table dot add index column. You'll notice that the capital is A, I, and capital I, and capital C there. Open parentheses. We're going to look at that count column that we created, which ha houses a small table in there. We're going to rename it something new. We're going to call this one rank. And that is in open quotes, close quotes. and we're going to have it one, one. So it's going to start at one, it's going to count by one. Close parentheses, click OK, and it has another table here. But if I click on the blank part here, you'll notice now we have our rank here. One, two, three, four. Ad Adventure, you notice, remember, it had only two, so that's one and two. Animation, I think, only had no, three, one, two, three, and comedy had a lot, right? And that's going to go quite a bit. I don't need, need these other two columns here because if you notice, I've got my genre column, I've got my movie name column, I've got my volume column, so I can get rid of these two columns. So I'll just right click and remove other columns and click on these, these two sided arrows to expand this. I don't need to use the original column name suffix or as a prefix, click OK. And now I've got my ranking. Go to home, close and load. By default, it loads it into a new worksheet and I have my rankings here. One to four for my action, one to two for my adventure, one to three for my animation, and so on. So this ranks within the groups. And this is how you can use Power Query to rank within a group. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.